Nicolás Barrera would have turned 21 today. Instead, his family and friends gathered at their local church to remember him. He was stabbed to death three months ago at a friend's party. Following an argument, several men arrived and killed him in front of dozens of witnesses. No one has been arrested. They must pay for what they've done because they destroyed our family. They destroyed all of us. He had his whole life ahead of him. So many plans. These kids just show up and kill each other. That's so rough. Imagine reaching that extreme where these youths are killing each other. There's a total lack of security. Mexico's latest wave of violence is expected to claim over 24,000 lives by the end of 2017, worse than at the height of the drug war a few years ago. The main reason for the unprecedented numbers, say crime-tracking NGOs, is the splintering of drug cartels into smaller, more violent groups that have disrupted areas previously considered safe. If you look at kidnapping or you look at extortions or you look at car theft, any of the high-profile impact crimes have gone up in Mexico. In his State of the Union address last month, Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto said security continues to be his government's main priority. But many here disagree, arguing that his administration has persisted with failing policies of prior governments. Ever since the beginning of the drug war in 2006, Mexico has made headlines, both nationally and beyond, in a conflict that continues to unravel. But increasingly, neither the government nor the private sector is speaking publicly about the worsening security situation or how to tackle it. Something that worries analysts as Mexico heads into an election year. Crime rates tend to go up when, when elections come along. So, uh, and another thing, many Mexicans might be distracted uh, thinking that they can change something by electing another party or another candidate or whatever. And this doesn't work that uh, this way. We have to change our strategies. Nicolás' parents say they won't rest until those responsible for their son's death are found and tried. But 98 percent of such murders here go unpunished. So like thousands of other Mexicans, they may never get the justice they seek. Nicolás may become another statistic in Mexico's year of relentless bloodshed. Julia Galeano, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.